everyone, Michael Jacobs. Uh, we had a great list of topics and questions, so I thought we would start uh, working on them. Uh, I'm just going to go right read off the list. So, uh, a good question here from Pete Buchanan. The lead arm shaft relationship in the backswing and how it f affects impact. Well, it's a huge one, both arms even. And uh, I think what's real important is really to take a look at the shoulder joint and understand the degrees of freedom of the shoulder joint and how it works in both shoulders. But, you know, so much talk is about um, the left arm and, you know, how much flexion you want, how much you want to go across the chest, rotate, things like that. I think it's more important to relate the lead arm with the center mass of the club, like the, uh, the alpha, beta, gamma ball. What I mean by that is on the backswing, I could be doing something that I could be trying to flex the arm or trying to get a good, solid relationship between the left arm and the body, but if the center of mass of the club doesn't have enough of what we would call alpha force, which is force that accelerates the center of mass this way, um, in and out of the plane that's taking place at the grip point so that will rotate the club so let me just make sure i'm in the screen here so on the backswing as the left arm is working i think what you should do is pay attention to the alpha beta gamma ball and focus in on how much that ball is being forced and torqued in relation to that left arm so if i get up to the top of my swing and that alpha beta gamma ball center mass of the club is in a good spot and I've uh, produced enough alpha force to bring it up that high, then when I start down it becomes much easier to take a good track of the club. So left arm shaft relationship is important, grip point obviously is important, uh, but I think you need to start relating it to the center of mass. So if I, on the backswing the center of mass is low, let's say, as I take it back, and I'm trying to flex here, I'm just not applying enough alpha force out of the plane of the swing. So I have to just check back to that alpha force show uh, that, we, that we had. So that's a, that's a good one. And you can see if I take the center of mass of the club too low on the back swing around myself, I'm probably gonna have to do things on the down swing and it's definitely gonna affect impact. So that's a, that's a good one for our first question. We will continue with uh, the others.